Come here, son. I have something for you. I'm the finest smith. Father. Is it mine? Every ranger should have his own blade. Care for it always. It is an extension. It won't ever leave my side. Hi everyone, Lazyfire here. Welcome back to Shadow of Mordor. You may have noticed that the last few videos I did were actually both free roams. Uh, a lot of that is because, well, frankly, I don't really want to do this next mission we're going to. We do have a little ways to go there, and I'll kind of explain it. Uh, remember the mission where I went into the area with Ratbag, and I screwed up? All right, yeah, just, just get grabbed if you feel like it. I see you. Okay, no one knew. Stabby, stabby. Uh, well, when I fucked up that mission, you remember how I just basically immediately teleported about five feet back? That is not the norm in this game. This game actually has a really bad tendency to put checkpoints in the missions in really weird spots. Weird enough that it can get kind of annoying, and this mission is more or less the poster child for that being a problem early in the game especially. Uh, you'll see a bit of that because I will almost guarantee you a failure in this mission. Hi guys. Just here to talk. We saw the daggers there. We haven't really seen those because I just got them. No, you don't. I do want to kill this guy over here. Oop. Well, oh! <laughs> He's got, got the spear in his head and everything. Ah, oh, fucking this game sometimes. And that guy caught fire. We're doing real well here. Ah. Oh. And you just saw one of the issues I have with the uh, archers in this game sometimes. Is that they will completely fuck your combo, especially early on. Uh, later in the skill tree, you will end up getting a uh, pretty helpful fucking upgrade. That will allow you to take a shot or two. Actually, just one shot before your uh, combo disappears. So if you are not great at the combat in this game... Taking that is a pretty good move on your part. Uh, as such, I'm probably not going to grab some of the uh, upgrades the game provides. There we go. Good enough. Push cream. Well, we said we were going to be nice to push cream. I need to run the fuck away before he recognizes me. See ya. That's a carrot. This is going real well. I was looking at the wrong spot. <laughs> nope, I went past the right spot. Nope, there it is. I hate this spot. When you have two of these assholes on you, it's kind of difficult to... Yes, leave me alone, thanks. I can't dodge. Okay. I've never actually tried to do that. Oh well. Alright, let's start this mission. Make yourself at home, Jalian. Obtained some valuable information from this one before he lost his head. He's grown slow, nothing. We're wasting precious time. Wasting time? We have learned where they are keeping our blasting powder. What need have I of blasting powder? It's all part of the plan, my friend. Whatever leads us to the Black Hand is my only concern. So anxious to find the Black Hand. And by all means, I will take you to him. And with any luck, the Uruks have yet to discover the secrets of the blasting powder. We will need to free my men to find out. Do you believe the blasting powder can draw out the Black Hand? I pray so. The enemy gathers at Uruks Hollow, where many of my men are enslaved. I pray Eren too is there. I will handle the Uruks. Perhaps we can take a more stealthy approach and incapacitate them by using their weakness. Grog. Have you ever heard of Hithlas? 
It's toxic and is good for one thing. Poisoning orcs. <laughs> Follow me. When I deserted the Black Gate, I fell sick. It was Aaron who nursed me to health. Is she the reason you joined the tribesmen? Of the many, she is my most cherished. There are only so many camps my wife could have been taken to. Do you believe she will be at this one? My heart says yes. I hope for your sake she is here, God. Anyways, uh, one of the things you may have noticed with the rat bag following in the other mission, and this just now, uh, if you don't touch anything, Talion will just walk right alongside these guys for a good distance. It's actually kind of nice in some of the missions. I'll keep watch for Uruks. Be careful, Ranger. Glad to see the back of our captain. He was a useless shrock. Clearly, or he wouldn't have been torn Wait. apart by a cannon. Or something. See, don't you hear him say category when he's talking there? So, I don't actually have to, like, bury these guys stealthily, but, you know, it's a different little thing to do. Wanna what kill this globe? Someone's sneaking about. There we go. Stabby stabby. Let's get this guy first. You can see the prioritization that I'm going on right now with these guys. Oh, you're just gonna get in the way. Go. And here we are. If there's interest in this, I will go and grab the Hithlis and other entries that I've sort of been skipping over. Uh, but right now, I really doubt there's much there uh, that's going to be very interesting. The entry on Gollum, for example. I think anyone who's seen a Lord of the Rings movie knows who Gollum is. Back there to this. More plants ahead. Follow me. How much of this shit do I need? Where did you acquire this blasting powder? Traded for it with a blustery dwarf. We took his powder and left him our footprints. Pretty fair, if you ask me. You are proving yourself to be a strong leader. For a deserter. That is only because I leave the hard work to men like you. Captain ordered us to do more weapons drills. Yeah, one of the things that bugs me about this, even though they do give you the uh, walk alongside the guy thing, or parts of these missions, uh, you still have these things where you're gonna go right, right past these guys if you try to walk at uh, fast speed, and if you try to walk at normal speed, you go right past, uh, you fall way behind them. It bugs the hell out of me that even to this day, even on good games, you have that shit. It I just you would have figured this out by now, and they seem to have come across a pretty good solution at times in this game, uh, but they still can't really use it. Right now, I'm sneaking through a fucking deserted camp. In Mordor, even the flowers are of death. There are far worse things than flowers here. Thanks. It's fucking amazing commentary there. Done. What do you think it is? One of the things you may have noticed is that you do have to hit the button to get up on a ledge. So just be aware of that if you see me completely fail to get up on a ledge or something like that. Where's the eye? Roll back under a rock with all the elbow. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that, thanks. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Yeah, this isn't exactly the most, uh, inspiring section of the game. But once we grab enough of these things, we're pretty much set on these forever. Oh, there he goes. Look at that speed, it looks like you're running for, for friggin' water there. And slowly... I thought it impossible Sauron would ever return. Darkness descends upon Mordor. Soon it will be impossible not to succumb. 
When we realized we couldn't fight the orcs, we started dressing up like slaves, sneaking into their camps to free the others. A bold strategy. Not really. Mostly, we'd end up slaves ourselves. At least we came dressed for the part. When I was first rescued by the outcasts, they told me you led the search party for my head. I volunteered. Were you caught, our fellow rangers would have killed you. I cannot let you suffer that fate. Alright, not allowed to duck right here. Oh, now I am. Weird, weird, weird. Up here, we almost have enough poison for our purpose. I look forward to seeing its effects up close. Honestly, you could have cut one of these. You really could have. You know why? You will literally never have to do this shit again in the entire game. He doesn't say anything while I do this. He doesn't do anything while I do this. There's no enemies to fight. Now all you have to do is drop it into their grog. Will the orcs not smell the poison? No. But if they spot you, I doubt they will drink from it. The Uruks are stationed by the front gates. For the sake of my men, keep to the shadows. I'll gather my men and wait. We'll stand ready to seize the blasting powder once the camp is clear. Remember, Talion, don't be seen. These Uruks have killed many slaves for far less. If you were as big a pain as rat baggies, they wouldn't waste the time. So, this mission, it's not terrible. Uh, actually, the parts that would have been pretty bad are behind us now. It's not bad. Alright, stabby stabby. We're actually going to go try to complete that extra mission there and uh, grab ourselves another couple stealth kills. It shouldn't be too difficult. Here. Need to talk to you about something. There we go. Uh, but yeah, the the part of the game that would send you back a little bit too far is pretty much gone. We're done with that now. These guys. All right. So Grog. It's something we've seen a couple times. I've hit a couple of these things in some of the free roam videos to get away from these guys. Uh, but all you have to do is kind of walk up to one of the barrels, hit the button, and the game will send an orc or two over to it to uh, drink from it. So just sneak around a little bit and get to where you need to be and kind of be done. Oh no, 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 not what I wanted. Alright, let's see, where is that grog girl? Right there. I was hoping that guy would disappear. And of course, it's not the easiest one to get to, but I was hoping I'd just get that done first. Oh, well. Here's what we'll do instead. Ah. There we go, there's the objective I was hoping never to see in my life again. Five grog barrels. Now the game does something that's kinda nice here. Gives you a little bit of space to work with, and of course you have the arrows. So it's not an overly difficult uh, task to perform, it's just an annoying one. And honestly, uh, the need to use the poison throughout the rest of the game, limited. Limited be the way I'd describe it. As a matter of fact, uh, the only time it's really effective is at feasts. And by my own account, not exactly helpful at feasts either. It's actually just faster, easier, and cheaper to uh, fire an arrow right into somebody. You won't spend all this time fucking wandering around. You won't try to sneak through areas that you don't need to sneak through. I mean, why bother? Here we go. Any poison this? 
No wonder this stuff burns so well. I know you could go in through that front here. Oh, I wanted a good brawl too. You hear that? Uh, I think they found the uh, bodies there. This is going well. There's the poison grog. You can see that it has the little poison cloud over it. Now the orcs won't come in here. I've never seen them do that. They'll hang out inches away from you. Clean out your ears! Yeah. There he goes. He's drinking from. What I don't want the game to do is send me out that door, at which point I will fail the mission. But looks like they're dying, getting sick. Just puking on each other, you know. It's normal things. It's probably more disturbing that no one noticed that they're thrown up on each other there. Alright. Come on. Up, up, up. That is, by the way, the exact way I talk to my dog when I'm trying to get her to go up a hill. Uh, so, Italian is basically... Hi there, friend. You ain't done nothing to earn And if I got some, I'd actually be wanting to do something! They all just carry these little grog cups and get really excited about it. It's kind of fun to watch. Cave! And just yeah, there we go. And this is the side effect. They all start riots, as orcs are wont to do. I guess we didn't see it in the other one. I don't know why, but it's <laughs> it's actually the main draw of using the poison is that you will uh, cause the orcs to fight each other. But, yeah, well, you saw. I'm surprised they can keep it down. Any more trouble from the grave robber, and you'll see the captain's head in the dirt. Okay. Come on, get on up. Get, get on. You can do it. There we go. I believed in you the entire time, Ty. We have one more after this. It's actually pretty far away, Shouldn't be too difficult to get there because we do have the rooftop highways to use. Now, if you blew up one of these things, you would uh, fail the mission, as far as I recall. Because I did try to do that once. Because fucking why do this shit? It's not really that fun. Uh, as you can probably tell from watching it, it's also not a lot of entertainment to it. Alright, climbing, climbing, climbing. Come with me. Come with me. Come on. sad. So, yeah. That was our outcast mission. Uh, the first of several that we'll do. Uh, you know, we're, um, we're not too far from that. Let's go do that Vendetta mission before we head out. Uh, I do like packing a couple different things into each video, and 
this is the vendettas are kind of fun, but we're gonna go avenge our friend W. Uh, hi, friend. Need to talk to you about my Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, that's not uh, that's Greaser. That's why. That's why. Uruk, not let man run away this time. Yeah, Uruk's gonna allow that shit here. This is why. You'll never Thank you. No, I'm not fighting you. I have an agreement with the thread that I will leave you alone and promote you only. I fucking did not realize who that was. I was wondering why he uh, parried me there when I tried to uh, when I tried to stab him. I've never seen. Uh, usually, you can slide down that. You can't climb up it. Actually, I should have used a brutalize there to kind of show off what it does when there are other orcs in the area, but you know, a little bit happy. Are you serious? No. Sometimes the game is very weird about what you can and can't climb. Don't. There we go. Rog the wicked. We might get something decent out of this. Proc. Uh, we have not voted on what to do with Proc yet, so we're gonna leave him the fuck alone. That group of hunters there was probably meant for us a little earlier. What's all this about us leaving? Oh fuck these guys! If you're stupid enough to stand there, you deserve to die. Like that. See our friend. Captains from here in the east have been meeting. You know what that means. We'll be joining into one big army. Yep, that means we'll crush any resistance much quicker. Alright, let's see what we have. Who's this friend? Ah, Brog. That's our guy. Uh, this will be an interesting fight. Don't worry, Tungsten, we'll get this guy for you. Now, he himself is invulnerable to a couple different things. So, uh... Hi, friend. Let's get the people away from him, and then we can take him on. Man, fly! 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 There you are! I've been waiting for this! I do love how differently sized he is. There's a few captains that are like that in this game, and captain types, that will just be much bigger than Talion. And uh, in a lot of games where they just basically reuse the same fucking uh, character model size over and over, it's kind of nice to have. Ah, but we've avenged Tungsten. 400 bonus points, you know. And a sword. Overwhelming. Don't do that. I got ya. Let's uh, finish this fight and uh, we'll head out of this video, shall we? You better just stay fucking still, dog. Okay. Getting, the reason I came over here is I wanted to get away from this particular hunter who kept fucking hitting me with shit. I was not appreciative of that fact, by the way. So basically, I got around a corner so he couldn't touch me anymore. Good, the other one's dead, too. Now, we don't have all of our combos. If you get sick of the executions, don't worry. I have other weapons to use later on in the game. Uh, but at this point, the game has not allowed me to use those, or on them, or whatever it might be. We're pretty close to making the last couple guys flee here. The incredible rolling head. Alright. No, you don't. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> uh, I don't think I've ever actually killed somebody using those before. I thought they were like the batterings in uh, the Batman games where you couldn't really use them to kill people. 
Caragors. This is going swimmingly. All right, well, we did what we set out to do. Thank you for watching, everyone. I will see you next time.